What's up, fellow advertiser? My name's Nick George, and I'm the founder of My Advertiser Online. Today, we're going to go over a quick Google Analytics tutorial and setup. It should only take about 10 minutes. Um, but more specifically in this video, we're going to go over how to create a new property, how to install the Google Analytics tracking code properly, how to organize your account, how to use filters, and how to set up conversion tracking to measure your return on investment or your ROI. Um, Google Analytics can definitely be used for a lot more than just those things. I just don't have enough time to go into it all in this video. Uh, but if you guys like this video and you'd like me to make a part two and go into more detail, uh, you know, please let me know by hitting the like button or drop me a positive comment after you're done watching. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if it was helpful, if it was useful, or if you have any questions. Um, so what I'm doing, I'm just signing in. I, I'm pulling up my Google Analytics account. If you don't already have one set up with them, you can go in uh, to Google Analytics, just click sign up and they'll walk you through it. It's pretty self-explanatory, easy to set up. Uh, but once you're in, let's say you wanna add another website. So in my case, I have two websites here that I'm, that I'm tracking um, under this one account. Let's say you wanna add a third one. So you'll go to admin, which is this little wheel button down here at the bottom. Go to your property drop down, click create new property, and you'll just add it right here. It's pretty simple. Just put your website name, the URL, the category, and then the time zone. Click get tracking ID, and it should take you to something that looks like this, uh, where you'll have your tracking code. So you want to make sure uh, you install this tracking code properly. A lot, of, I see this a lot. Is um, a lot of people are putting this code in the wrong spot, and they're not collecting good quality data or enough data in order to make good decisions. Um, now, yes, you can make good decisions even with data that's not good quality, but you can make better decisions uh, if you have more data and better quality data, if that makes sense. But anyways, you want to go ahead and copy this script right here. Uh, you want to go back to your website editor and pull up the HTML document that way you can go in and find your closing head tag you'll see the head tag right here there's an opening one and you'll see the closing one down here right well you want to install that tracking code script right before this closing head tag and i'll tell you the reason why you want to put it here and not at the bottom in the footer or in the body is because your website is loaded from top to bottom so the computer reads the script from top down to the bottom and a lot of people actually land on your web page. You know, the web page will start to load and maybe it's halfway through and then they leave. Well, if it's halfway through and your tracking code is down here at the bottom, uh, Google's not going to collect that page view. And you wanna make sure that you can collect that page view because if you have a lot of people landing on your site and then leaving, that can mean something's wrong there and you wanna definitely go back in, optimize it, fix it up and make sure that's not happening. So. Um, that's the reason why you want to install the tracking code at the top right before the closing head tag. Um, the next thing I want to go over is how to organize your account properly. Um, and in this case, once you already have your property set up, first you'll have your account, then you'll set up your property, and then you want to set up your views. If you see here, I have three views for one property, and this is how you want to set it up. The reason being is um, you want an unfiltered view where you never touch that you don't make any changes. You know, this is all data that comes in that you collect. You want to have a test view in order to go in and test new filters, um, you know, test new conversion goals that you want to go after. And uh, just, just one that you can kind of experiment with. And then you want to have your master view, which is the main one that you go to in order to make your decisions. Um, you always want to implement changes in your test view before going in and implementing them in your master view. And the reason being is you can't go back and reload data from six days ago if you made a change six days ago. Um, so that's why you wanna make sure you keep all three in case if you make a mistake in your test view, you can notice that before you screw up the data in your master view. Um, so to create a new view, you just click create new view. It's pretty simple. You just write the reporting view name and then create view. Um, once you pull it up, 
let's go into uh, filters here. So let's go back to test view. I will click filters and you can add a filter. Uh, for example, if you want to filter out uh, your IP address so that way Google doesn't track when you land on your own web page, that would be a really uh, good filter for you to add. Probably the majority of you will want to add this filter. Um, say you have a bunch of employees and you don't want to track their page views if they go onto your website. Uh, you want to exclude their IPs, you can do that as well. Um, whatever kind of filter you're looking to develop, you just give it a name here. So in my case, I put exclude uh, your IP. Predefined filter, I'll do exclude traffic from the IP addresses that are equal to, and then you just enter your IP address right here, click save. Um, once you test that filter out and you make sure that it's working and that's what you want, uh, you'll go back to your master view, click filters, add filter. As you can see, I already have it there, but you can do apply existing filter now. Uh, your new filter that you created in the test view will show up here. You'll click it, click add, save, and you're good to go. It'll start filtering out your IP address and the data from that. Um, now keep in mind that the filters, they're going to start filtering data from the point that you add that filter onwards. So it's not going to go back and filter, you know, the data from last week or last month or anything. You, you can't add a filter for that. Um, you know, the filter, whenever you set them up, it's going to start filtering it from that point forward. So just keep that in mind. Um, you know, if you have any questions setting up a filter, don't hesitate. Just connect with me on Twitter and, you know, shoot me a direct message. Um, last thing I want to go over is conversion tracking and goal tracking. You'll click, uh, go back to test view, click goals right here, click new goal. And then you have the option to choose from a template, which most of your, your goals will probably come from one of these templates. If you have questions and none of this fits what you're looking for, like I said, just connect with me on Twitter, shoot me a direct message. Um, but for this case, we're going to do acquisition. Let's say I have a lead capture form when I first land on the page and I'm looking to collect email addresses in exchange for a, a free marketing consultation. So I'll do create an account, continue. We'll name the goal. So let's do marketing consultation. Uh, give the goals a slot. And in this case is my first goal setting up. So it'll be one and one. Um, the way that we're, they're going to track the goal, which is important, after they fill out the lead capture form, they're going to be taken to a thank you page. And that's how the conversion goal is going to fire off. So you want to make sure that you get the um, URL for your thank you page, and you're going to enter that in right here. Um, and you want to make sure you click equals to, add your thank you page, uh, URL, and then if you'd like to assign a value, in my case, a consultation, I mean, it could be worth, who knows? Um, but let's just say for purposes of tracking ROI, uh, I'm gonna say each consultation is gonna be worth $10 to me. So we'll click save. I'm gonna cancel out of this. I'll go back to my actual goal. Uh, once you save that, you'll go back to your master view and you wanna make sure that it's working. And then uh, you can see here, that this goal set up and you'll go to conversions, goals, overview, and now you're able to track your conversions. And as you can see, they assign a monetary value. So that way you can get a better idea of your ROI from your website. Um, anyways, guys, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, just please be sure to subscribe for more videos on advertising and marketing if you haven't already subscribed. Um, don't forget to hit the like button for me, uh, you know, connect with me on Twitter, shoot me a message, let me know, hey, you know, I liked your video. Um, if you have questions or if you'd like me to cover anything specific, um, feel free to get in contact with me. I'll be more than happy to help out. Um, but until next time, uh, go out there and make a lot of money. Good luck, guys.